welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom of muscle. And in today's video, we're talking about how to make your bedroom feel luxurious and cozy. So if this is something you're interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you have not already though, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at Mom With Muscle. Without further ado, let's get into this video. But before we get into today's video, I do wanna thank our sponsor who is sponsoring this portion of today's video, who is Lily Silk. Now, if you are unfamiliar who Lily Silk is, they're one of the top brands for producing some of the most luxurious silk products on the market. Now, before I get into telling you what type of products Lily Silk offers, I want to explain what a great company this is when it comes to responsibility and being environmentally conscientious. Now, for those of you who don't know, the fashion industry is the second largest polluter in the world right after the oil industry. It accounts for about 10% of the global carbon emissions. It is the second largest consumer of the world's water supply and it pollutes the ocean. Now, they believe that zero waste can make a difference. They are trying their hardest and their best to be more environmentally conscientious. You will even notice when you go to open up one of your packages from Lily Silk, all of their packaging is made from 100% recycled material. They're working with TerraCycle as a recycling company, committed a zero waste production. Lily Silk is striving to create a smaller carbon footprint. And a lot of that stems from how they make their products. Now, how they make that happen, they source their silk from mulberry trees, which requires less water than cotton to grow. Not all silk is created equal. That's their motto. All items are made from natural fibers instead of synthetic. Lily Silk only uses 100% natural premium materials like mulberry silk and Mongolian cashmere on top of all products are clean and toxin free so I really love the fact that this company is striving to do better and to be better and to produce not only the most top quality silk products on the market but they're doing it the most environmentally and conscientious way so some of the products that Lily Silk has on their website they have men's and women's apparel they have bedding sets pillowcases accessories pajama sets like the one that I'm currently wearing right now. And there's a lot of benefits to silk. And I didn't really think anything of it until recently when I became postpartum. If you are new to my channel, I do have a seven month old baby. And I knew that silk was important, especially in your pillowcases. So I have implemented Lily Silk's pillowcases into my bedroom to help with my hair. Unfortunately, with postpartum comes hair breakage and whatnot, frizziness. So this has been an aspect that I have implemented into helping my postpartum hair. There's also a lot of key benefits to silk. One, it improves your skin and hair hydration. It also prevents fine lines and wrinkles. Like I spoke about, it helps with frizz-free hair, less breakage. And lastly, it helps regulate your body temperature, helping you achieve a more comfortable night's rest. So all in all, Lily Silk has some of the most amazing silk products on the market, and I love the fact that they are taking responsibility on making it happen. So if you're interested in getting your hands on some of these silk products, check out the description below where you can access their website. And you can also use my promo code MWM12 for 12% off your order, or you can use MWM20 for 20% off your entire purchase over $200. So I do wanna thank again Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of today's video. But without further ado, let's get into how to make your bedroom feel more luxury. So tip number one is going to be mixing and matching your material, leaning on to the silk aspect. I have multiple different types of materials here in my bedroom. I have everything from boucle to linen to silk to mud cloth. I have a variety of different materials here to not only create visual interest, it's not the flat same surface and kind of stale like material all the way throughout my bedroom, but I have different texture different materials, and that is going to make your bedroom feel super luxe and super comfortable. So that is tip number one. The second tip is layering your lighting. I have gotten so into layering my lighting here in my home. I've added sconces to mirrors, to pictures, to picture lighting. I think layering your lighting is super important. So for example, in my bedroom, I have, I have our lamps on our nightstands, I have our chandelier, I have our recessed lighting, as well as I have sconce lighting. I think layering your lighting is super important. It takes a flat surface, elevates your space, it gives it definitely more of a hotel vibe and I think layering your lighting is going to be super important now if you even have a seating area like I do in my bedroom you could have a task lamp you could have a tall standing lamp next to it I definitely think lean into layering your lighting as another way to bring more of a cozier vibe to your bedroom so that's tip number two all right tip number three is bringing in some foliage now I have a mixture of faux and I also have real in my bedroom I love real because simply put it just makes me happy. I go to the flower store, Trader Joe's, at least 
once a week to bring fresh flower bouquets into my house. I love the way it makes me feel. I love that I can get creative with the florals. I love that I can bring different color into my bedroom. And so this was this week's pick. I did a natural cream rose with a white rose and a little bit of thistle in there. And it just, it makes me super happy. So I think bringing some sort of greenery or some sort of bouquet into your bedroom is just gonna make you feel that much more comfortable, that much more, you know, at home and at peace, luxe and comfortable. So that is tip number three. Sticking at this point, I love bringing scent into my bedroom. Now you guys should know I love scent, period. I think we all do. Now I bring it in a couple different ways. I will always be diffusing daily uh, lavender here in my bedroom. Lavender is a kind of a sleep aid. It helps with relaxation. I have it diffusing in all of our bedrooms upstairs. The girls have their diffusers going with lavender. I have it here in my bedroom diffusing with lavender. But I also love bringing candles in too. I think it creates more of like a zen-like feeling, a more peaceful feeling. And when you come home from the end of the day, feeling comfortable, feeling at ease, feeling at peace is super important. We spend a third of our lifetime here in our bedrooms. So when we come home, this area, this aspect of our house should feel very much calm, peaceful, comfortable, and luxe. So that is tip number three and tip number four for you. Now tip number five is mixing metals. I think mixing metals is super important when it comes to creating that luxe look within your bedroom. Now I get this question all the time, like how do you feel about mixing metals? And I'm here for it. And this is the rule of thumb that I go by. Personally, this is what I go by. I go by an 80-20 rule. I have 80% black items here. So you'll see I have my curtain rods are in black, my chandelier above me is in black, our nightstand uh, lamps are black, but then I bring 20% of brass through a vase, through a tray, through an accent tank. Well, just pops of another finish to help give my bed and a little bit more of a visual interest, contrasting materials and metals. And so I think if you're going to mix metals, which I highly recommend in your bedroom, follow my 80-20 rule. Again, 80% of a dominant material, for me, it's black wrought iron and 20% of another material being brass. So I think that's another really important key aspect when making your bedroom feel a little bit more luxurious. So that is tip number five. All right, tip number six, and this is not gonna apply to every single person, but it is definitely something I did wanna talk about. If maybe you are in a new home, you're in a new build, you're contemplating window treatments. Now we have automatic roller shades here in our master bedroom, and I cannot tell you what an amazing investment that was for our bedroom and some of the key aspects throughout our home. Now, when I come home from a long day, to be able to just click our shades down is so luxe. And I feel like I'm in Vegas. We do have blackout shades in here, so it gets super, super dark in here. If you can invest in doing some automatic shades, I highly recommend them. Again, I know this isn't gonna apply for everybody, but this was definitely something that I wanted to talk about as it feels so luxurious. Being able to just click our shades down, they come down automatically. Piggybacking off of that, the next item that I wanted to talk to you guys about are smart switches. I have talked about these on my channel before, and it is such a simple thing to implement into your bedroom or even into your home as a whole. What you have to do is you just switch out the switch on your wall and they connect to your smart device uh, and all you have to do is ask them to turn on your lights or turn off your light. Alexa, turn master bedroom chandelier off. Alexa, turn master bedroom lights off. And you can be sitting in bed and there's nothing more amazing than just saying, hey, turn off my lights, they come off, or hey, turn on my lights and they come on. It definitely just elevates my bedroom that much more. I feel like I'm in a hotel and I definitely think if you can invest in smart switches and or automatic shades, that would be amazing to implement into your bedroom. So that is tip number six and I think tip number seven for you guys. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed so much coming into my bedroom and learning some different tips and tricks that I have done in order to make my bedroom feel luxe and comfortable on a daily basis. And again, thank you Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Everything will be linked down in the description box for Lily Silk as well as some of the items in my bedroom that I'm sure I'm gonna get questions on. But as always, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.